Welcome to this module of Introduction to Microarray Data Analysis. You'll find the NITAR document at the RPOPs that I'll show you at the end of this demonstration. So uh, this exercise will show you how you can do uh, a differential uh, gene expression data on uh, dioxin-induced gene expression of MCF breast cancer, breast cancer cells. So, uh, the data set is, uh, you can find it in GEO database, the GSE 7765. So I have used a subset of the data. Uh, uh, so they have given like 12 samples. I have used only six samples, three controls and three dioxin treated samples. And basically we, in this exercise, we are going to see how the dioxin uh, is, is changing the expression of different genes with respect to the control. So how the how the genes are expressing uh, uh, and which genes are going up, upregulated or expressing more, which genes are going down. So, and, uh, and before doing this, so first what they did is they took a cell a culture of, of this breast cancer cells and uh, they uh, gave dioxin to it. And uh, basically after trans transcription, they used to express the proteins. So dioxin will bind to those some of the, some of the proteins, and as dioxin binds to those proteins, so those will uh, those proteins will get affected. Right, so it might that protein might get regulated in some other metabolic pathway. So as a result, so those uh, when that goes down, so something some other genes um, gets upregulated based on the inhibition or you know uh, worst or based on the inhibition of that. Of that protein so this is how the concept is to work and just to figure out which when you give that drug how how the expression of other genes gets affected or which uh, which other pathways or which other uh, uh, important factors that transcription or any other factors gets activated or uh, yeah something like that so for uh, this uh, demonstration I have installed some of these packages earlier and I will just give the console and I have basically I used a feed map package here and which will plot beautiful uh, block based heat maps for you so first of all I have the geo annotation file so which contains the annotations of the genes and uh, let, let it get loaded and can see which are the annotations which are there in this and annotation uh, file so you can get it on directly on the geo data geo gsc7765 data set and also it contains the raw cell files where, uh, where you can do a lot of you know you can download the cell files and use some other algorithms to uh, to remove the background and create this kind of matrix so those those are kind of extra work, but I have provided the gene expression matrix for you. You just need to load it and just run these commands. It's already background corrected and uh, all other things are being done. It's the matrix is kind of ready. So you can subset the column here like you want the ID and the gene title. You want the ID, gene title, gene symbol, gene I and the gene back accession, and also you can get. I have collected the IDs with the gene, uh, with the gene symbol name, into it. So, so the ID is the Acumetrix gene ID, which corresponds to the this. These are the genes. Okay. Then I load this the main expression matrix. So I skip 69 lines because though it contain that contains a long description of what the platform is or all this you can open the file and just check it out what is it and then I say use a tab separated uh, uh, thing here and there's also a header so at the 70th line you will find uh, the header of the of, of the matrix and also the row names as one well. so once I load it I think it's loaded and you can see the dimension like that two to eight three genes and six uh, six uh, samples of control and dioxin treated i will show which are uh, dioxin treated i will tell it i will tell you 
and these uh, the round and the apply common gives you the summary statistics of the uh, different samples the 13 uh, the 13 uh, 13 16 and 20 are the control sets and the 14 16 14 18 and 22 are the dioxin treated sets so i will convert into a matrix here so rows 3 to suppose i want the row and just just try to see what uh, the ID is it's something like this and which ID is equal rows uh, will gives you the corresponding index so which you have used a lot in the previous exercise so this one which ID is 1 3 2 uh, this one gives you the and the gene symbol so I create a new symbol uh, list here uh, uh, kind of a data frame and then I will put and then I will use this function here in this uh, in this loop which will help me to uh, map all the IDs to the genes it will take a little bit of time meanwhile uh, I'll tell you that uh, the other uh, This is the uh, ARP uh, at this website where you can get the, the whole analysis of differential expression uh, of this of this, uh, this of this code and the GAC file is located here where you will see like the, uh, there are twelve samples and they are mentioned which are being DS DMS uh, DMS or treated is the control one and dioxin is the is a drug which has been treated and is the raw raw tar file which contains the cell cell lines and you'll also uh, find this soft file which also also the annotation. So it is done and then so so row name x symbol of 500 symbolizes okay this is uh, tspn3 gene so i for uh, for since it has large values i need to convert into a logarithmic form i use log uh, base to to convert into a logarithmic and just see the uh, uh, the summary statistics using round of 3 so I, of of x and this one is round of 3 for uh, for log x data so it's log converted one so if you want to plot the histograms you can just see here uh, this is uh, the m1 and the, uh, the log of the expression values which are um, been plotted and see the first one is is kind of very skewed and log actually normalizes the data so are there other ways of doing normalization the mostly people use logs to do the data normalization and you can color it something like this so coming to the ma plot the ma plot is uh, is often used in uh, the microarray uh, data analysis uh, which is the m of the log ratios and e is the mean average scale uh, for example, uh, to, to determine whether the normalization is needed, one can plot the, the cyber green 5, which is the red, and the inten cyber green 5 intensities against the cyber green 3, which is the green intensity, to see whether the slope of the line is around 1 or not. Uh, An improved method, which is basically a scale 1 and 45 degree rotation of R and G, uh, R versus G plot is the is called the MA plot. So MA plot is a plot of the distribution of the red and green intensities and um, uh, plotted uh, by the average intensity. The red and green intensity is denoted as M and the average intensity as A. And MA, M and A is defined as the, as the equations so which I have given here. It's the log of uh, that's this, this two difference and uh, 
this this two uh, is the average so so first I take x1 is 1 and uh, suppose for example the control set and one uh, an ex experimental set and just try to plot you see the MA plot here uh, read uh, uh, there's also a, a function of MA plot in the library AFI package where you can uh, do uh, plot it something like this to the box plots to see how uh, how how the uh, different samples are are there are, uh, whether they are before normalization and after the normalization so so these were the samples which were before normalization and these were after normalization note uh, uh, before normalization it's, it was very skewed as I was showing you and after like louder X transformation it's, uh, the data is kind of kind of uh, well distributed and balanced and you can analyze this data you know. so 13 is the control this one is the uh, uh, is the dioxin treated cells so 16 is again the red and red is the uh, uh, control and the green is the uh, dioxin treated cells you can also use this convert to PDF like diagnostics or PDF the file where and uh, plot these plots and export as export as the P as PDF. Remember to use the dev of if you don't use the PDF you, you can't open the PDF file. Now for differential gene expression, uh, since I have a control uh, control uh, induced uh, control induced, so I labeled. I labeled it as log x here as 0101. So we will do a t test to remove some of the genes from um, from the from the big data set and um, come up with the a list of genes which show which are kind of you know significant. So this is a t test function and uh, you just for t test you can just uh, query it how to do t test. Uh, so I already written there's a function in the in the R package to do t-test, so t dot t test, and it returns the t statistics and the p values. Uh, then I apply the log x set on the t-test function here. So the log x data will be uh, t-tested. Uh, And the I separate the t statistic and the p values in in different variables. To see uh, the no, you can plot the QQ plot to see how much it is normalized. So this section is is not well normalized, and this is not it's, uh, it's this and also this section. Anyhow, so let's see uh, after. So we ha we have we have the p values. Now we'll be checking how many genes are kind of significant below this uh, p values like 0 0.01 0 0.05 0 0.001 and so on so there are genes with p values smaller than 0 0.1 is 82 genes with p values smaller than 0 0.5 is 424 and 0 0.01 is 7 and other one is, is very less so now i plot i took the i, I only uh, use those indexes uh, which has p-value less than 0 0.01 so they are like 82 and create a data frame of that so let me need to so head data will give you the sample uh, samples as well as the um, p-values code um, less than 0 0.01 uh, significant genes here and then you can plot the heat map here 
and just seeing like you know how the genes got expressed so these are the control sets as i told you these are the uh, uh, the you know, drug induced sets so note that when you zoom it so these are the genes which got differentially expressed and even this part and even this section here which shows a, a different uh, gene expression and uh, even like this this section and this section now uh, the feet map uh, as i told you is really interesting and Oh, that was a R markdown document. Uh, so. so I cluster some of this. And so where here you see like these are the genes here. It shows very high differential expression compared to the uh, normal uh, this control set. So these are like more significant significant change so uh, it shows like almost above you can see like 6000 the, these range of scores so there are some here but these are the most uh, kind of significant here the CYP the SLC uh, uh, and all the CYPs here this is kind of differentially expressed and these are the metabolic enzymes the cytochrome uh, cytochrome uh, p450 group of enzymes which helps in metabolism of drugs so might be uh, uh, like when you give this drug it indicates uh, it, uh, it blocks some pathway and the expression of these genes gets uh, gets uh, ar ar arises maybe block some metabolic pathways and the expression of these genes um, gets gets increased so I hope you like this uh, differential expression uh, tutorial thank you